The point of this tutorial is to show you how to use Apple's Aperture software to apply makeup on any given person you want. So we're going to go from this image, which is the original, and then I use the blur tool and the skin smoothing tool to make her skin look flawless. And I also use the dodge tool to line her, her eyes. But we're going to go from this to this, which is applying the makeup. Now, there's multiple ways you could do this, but there's one that works the most effectively. Choose the image you want and go to brushes and pick the one called tint. Now, when you use this tool, it's just basically going to change the tint of the skin, so it's going to always turn green for the most part. And you go ahead and go to strength and put it around 70. You can always use the highest number which is a hundred and if you did too much you can use the eraser tool and put it around 50 and then you can just lower the effect so I'm gonna head and start brushing it in by the way because of the software I chose to make this tutorial you won't be able to see the brush as I am using it so bear with me I'm making the brush smaller there now some people already would be happy with this because it's already adding some quote-unquote makeup now once you do that go to the feather tool and make your your brush a little bigger and just feather the edges so it blends in really nicely Now you have a pretty good um, look over here so far. So what you do is now is that you're going to go to tint over here. Now unlike any other brush on Aperture, you cannot lower the intensity or increase it based on this. What you can do is just change the color of it. As you can see, it went from green to blue. And then if you drag it slowly, it will give you a wide range of colors. So you can just pick the one that you want. We're going to go with this. Let's go with something different. Let's pick this pink. Now, what you can do is you can get very creative with it. You can now go over here and add a new tint adjustment so that way you have control over everything you're applying. Now, what you do is you make the brush very small and you apply it to the edge of the eyes like this now I'm not being, trying to be perfect about it I'm just trying to show you the difference that way you can have more than one color so you can keep adding different adjustments until you get the look you want you can even use the burn tool and the polarizing tool and the the intensified contrast overlay to create your own uh, eyeliner black eyeliner anyway so we have the green and now you can change the color of that as well now let's see what will go nice with the pink it's like this purple will look nice with it so if if you did it too much you can always use the feather tool and increase the brush size just a bit and just feather it a little so it blends in nicely or better and there you go so we went from this image to this now is now using aperture you do not have as much variety as you would with Photoshop but at least it's a good way to at least um, applying some makeup on some people as opposed to nothing at all. Uh, and that's pretty much it.